Hey guys, it's been kind of a brutal week, but um, pushing through. I wanted to say thank you for my supporters and subscribers and those of you out there that do hurt, just, you know, hang in there. And if you do need to hang in there too long, just sometimes maybe it's the opposite, you gotta let go. We all miss people and we all need we all need somebody to to cry on we all we all need somebody to lean on so don't ever feel like don't ever feel like you don't have somebody cuz probably 10 out of 10 times i'm going to be giving something positive or something that's going to make you crack a smile or i don't always have that because i just i can't be fake i can't i can't pretend to be happy when i'm not i can't pretend to be snarky when I, or bitchy when I'm not like every single day you know we're we're people you know we're not machines we we don't we don't just sit here and go about our lives as a machine doing our doing our business and doing our jobs like those are so so minuscule next to the bigger things in life you know next to next to friends and next to family next to Next to ourselves, I don't think we give give ourselves enough time or enough energy or enough effort to to kind of let things flow. I think because of so much social media bombarding us, I think so much society is moving by so fast that it's really hard. It is really, really hard to kind of backpedal and like sidestep and just let things go by you know everyone thinks that they got to be doing something they got to be they got to be on the go they got to move 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 and constantly think that they're working towards something which just it's not right that's not right that's not how people need to exist people need to exist as a point in time like every single day you just you need to be you know if you're not if you're not cautious or you're not conscious or conscientious maybe even about your your own mentality or your your own physical health or your spiritual health you could be lacking in some of those areas so like if you're focused always on your mind then your heart and your spirit is going to lose if if you're focusing on your emotions then your mind and your spirit's going to lose if you're focusing only on spirituality then your mind and your heart's going to lose you have to, we all have to find a way to balance and we have to find a way to make things make sense of the world. And unfortunately, what our mind does is try to make sense of the world and it just feels, fills in information for, for itself to try to make sense of the world. It's, it's, it's one of the things that makes us human is trying to be able to deduce all these things in in one moment's time like in a day or you know in a week like if you want to make goals and set goals that's fine go and if you if you don't meet those goals you can't beat yourself down like you just you need a little bit more time don't don't make everything to be an expectation in life don't make everything at a set point don't make everything in a timeline to where like things have to go in this order I'm born, I go to college, I go, I get a job and get married. And like, I feel like some people are so stuck on these little insignificant points in their life that like, they just can't get over them. Like they think that they'll focus on one thing and that's the one thing that they need. Okay, fine. Some people need love. Some people need attention. But if that's the one thing that you need, you need to be focused on like how to drive that or pull that towards you in your life. You can't push or pull on your life. You can't force things to make something happen. I don't know who said it, but I think it was in a comedy. I think community said it. It's uh, like, for instance, love. If, if love is one of those things that you really, really want and you really, really need in your life. And like we're human. We all need love. But some of these, some people that I, that, that I watch them, they go through their life and they're focused on, this is the set. This is, these are my parameters. This is what love is. This is how it works. 
if I don't make it in this time frame, I'm never going to find it. And then it's like beat, they beat themselves down. Or if one girl or one person has burned you in the past, it's almost like every single girl is going to burn you in the future because you're always thinking about that one person or the one time that you should have had everything that you wanted. And a lot of the problem with America is we have this, um, we have media, we have, we have all these things bombarding us and making us feel like, you know, we have to have the perfect life. We have to have the perfect relationship. We have to have the perfect kiss, the perfect everything. And life has never been like that. N nothing is ever perfect. And that is one of the hardest things to try to describe and try to get people to understand because in Imperfection is what makes us human. Imperfection is what makes us grow. Like in my idea, I, I think I think perfection is growing every single day. It's it's getting better, a little bit better, a little bit better. But I think the most like the the, the general definition of what perfection is to most people is it's perfect. You you're always trying to get up to that perfection level, like. And that's not what perfection is. It's you're never going to obtain that sense of perfection. Perfection is like is growing a little bit more and becoming a little bit better at something or or having ideas that grow and make you a better person. Or if if you're in a relationship and you're looking for somebody and you and you want that person to to reflect who you are, you need to reflect who you are. You can't fake it. You can't hide it. You can't push it. You can't pull on it. You you do any of that stuff. It, I swear to God, I, the last time I heard it, it was in the show Community, and I don't even watch it, or maybe it was a meme, but it was like, love is like a, <laughs> a fart. If you have to force it, it's probably shit. And that's how a lot of people don't think. They think that at, at any point in time, like when something... It's like Jenga. Like you're just pulling out a piece and putting one on top, pulling a piece out and putting it on top. If you don't balance it right, it's just going to topple over. But if you keep on stacking and you keep on st stacking and you keep on trying to grow and like make your life better, all you have to do is be happy with yourself. All you have to do is, is accept what you have. One, what I'm trying to say is Everyone thinks that the grass is greener on the other side. They always think it's always better. Uh, the next person is going to be the one that changes it. And sometimes I think people get stuck in this like uh, puppy love and that, that, that hit of dopamine when you get, when you're in love and you first fall in love, it, it happens so fast and it happens so furious that it, 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 it overcomes you like a brush fire. And in order for that, fire to keep burning you have to work at it every single day otherwise that fuel is going to burn out at some point like the distance only goes so far I can't tell you how many relationships I've been in and then after after like a month after two months after six months like it just dies out because it's like it's based on something else and what what you end up doing is you end up lying either a to yourself which is bad or B, lying to that other person, which is just as bad. Because at some point, you're going to have a level of anger, resentment, or a, a, an upset in your mind where you're going to be frustrated. You're going to be frustrated with yourself, or you're going to be frustrated with that other person, or you're going to start projecting your, your ideas, your mentality on that person, and then you're going to make yourself resent that person and push yourself away. So don't lie to yourself ever. And don't ever lie to the person that you love or don't, you know what, in general, don't lie to anybody because if, as soon as you start lying to yourself, you're being dishonest with other people indirectly. You don't even need to, you don't even need to say something that's true or untrue. It could be a simple look. It could be emotion. It could be, it could be nonverbal communication. You're going to make things unsuitable for yourself because you are trying to like fix things in your mind because you already upset it in the beginning. So when it comes to relationships, when it comes to uh, mental illness, when it comes to appreciating life, you have to look at it as, as self-absorbed as this may sound. You have to take care of yourself first because 
you you can't you can't take care of your friends you can't take care of your family you can't take care of your your relationships if you don't take care of yourself first if you're lying to yourself or you're pushing or pulling on something you're giving it enough force to where it's going to turn out like shit and it's going to end up hurting you so much that you you may not want to live with yourself or you may not want to live with that person and you're going to just add a whole bunch more chaos into your life that you were probably trying to avoid in the beginning. So I don't have anything else to say for people that don't understand how to focus, but you have to just sometimes take a step back, backpedal, let life go by, let your mind and let your, your, your heart and your soul like filter these things. And I think a lot of the time, social media just pounds us to like make decisions that we don't even want to make because it's not even social media because this happened before social media. It happens just because people don't, they're not even true with themselves. Like they're still filtering stuff. So, but they feel like they have to, they need to, they need to hit the nail on the head every time. They got to make sure everything is right. Make sure everything is perfect, but you have to be happy with imperfection and the only way we grow is by accepting imperfection and loving imperfection and growing on ourselves. Like if you can't go in, if you can't go into your bathroom and you can't look in that mirror and say, I love you with my entire heart. I love you with my entire soul. I love you with my entire mind. Then you're probably lying to yourself in some way, shape or form. If you look in that mirror and you can't do that, then you need to find out and you need to deduce why you don't like yourself or why you don't love yourself. Or if you're saying somebody left you or somebody somebody didn't want to be with you, like it's not you can't project those thoughts or feelings on them because because maybe they weren't honest with themselves to begin with. So how are they gonna be honest with you? And then you're gonna take it out on yourself. And don't do that. So you guys be nice to each other, be nice to yourself, and love yourself. Peace.